What's up, YouTubers? You're watching the Dre Diggity Show, and today I'm going to show you how to calibrate the Holy Stone HS720. Also, I'm going to discuss a few things you need to know before you start flying. Stay tuned. Okay, so, assuming your batteries are charged and you're ready to calibrate your drone, what you're going to need is your drone, your remote controller, your iPhone or Android phone, and the Ophelia GPS app downloaded to your phone. Go to your Wi-Fi connection on your smartphone and go to Wi-Fi. Once you're in your uh, Wi-Fi selection, you want to select the Holy Stone uh, Wi-Fi. Once I'm connected, I want to go to my Ophelia uh, GPS. Next, we're going to power up the remote control to the drone. By doing so, you have to depress this red lock key button along with this switch where my right thumb is. So together, I power up the remote. Next, we're going to calibrate the drone by pressing this button here in the front. Okay, now, as you can see, you have a uh, red and green flickering light here. Now, it's turned all green. Now, we're going to hold the drone horizontally and turn it clockwise three times. One, two three then you want to hold the dro drone vertically and turn it clockwise three times one two three you know the drone is calibrated once you see that the green lights have turned green and red and they're no longer flickering as you see here Okay, now we want to make sure the drone is uh, connected to the GPS now. You see here, the GPS is off. To turn the GPS on, this switch here on the right in the down position, it's it's off. In the up position, it's on. And how you know it's on, a star will appear here. Okay, I'm in my truck, so I'm not picking up any satellites. But normally, once you've calibrated the drone, um, here in this spot right here where I, my finger is there will be a star there indicating that uh you're connected to gps and where this zero is it tells you how many satellites uh your gps is connected to it, it will also indicate that here where you see this uh red symbol it, it would represent a number and um a word of advice uh, for you uh, beginner drone flyers, if you're not connected to GPS, I do not recommend launching your drone because once you launch this drone, uh, 
if connected to GPS, the drone would um, hover at four to five feet until you direct it to move in what direction you want it to move. Um, not connected to GPS, this drone is going to go straight up in the air into the atmosphere and you may not be able to retrieve it. So I highly recommend that you connect to GPS before you, you take off. But once you're connected to GPS, we're gonna go back to this lock button to uh, start the motor on the, on the drone blades. And by doing so, you just depress this lock button. Just tap it one time. And you see that uh, the drone is ready for flight. And basically all you do is, now, now you're gonna use the controls to, to, to fly, so. With that being said, that is my conclusion on how to calibrate the drone. One more thing I wanted to mention before actual flight with your HS720 or any drone for that matter is I recommend that you download the Before You Fly app. Depending on the type of drone that you have, there may be regulations to fly that drone. So what this app is going to tell you is whether uh, wherever you're at at the moment flying your drone, whether or not it is permitted to even fly your drone in that area. Yes, certain states have no fly zones. And I can give you a few examples of what a no fly zone is. Uh, even this was new to me. I did not know that I could not fly my drone near railroad tracks. Uh, another example of a no fly zone is uh, near an airport or a military base, even a prison. Those are restricted areas, and what this app will let you know, uh, according to GPS, it will pinpoint where you're located and whether or not you're in a no-fly zone. Um, another thing to be cautious of when flying your drone, you need to be uh, aware of your surroundings, period. I'm talking about trees, uh, water, power lines. Uh, you definitely don't want to fly your drone over a highway, you know. So I highly recommend that you download this app and uh, make sure that you're in um, compliance with the uh, zone flying uh, regulations. Uh, and like I said, uh, certain drones uh, even require registration. So you definitely don't wanna be flying in a no-fly zone once you've registered your drone <laughs> because they're gonna know exactly who you are and where to find you. And you'll be getting that f ticket in the mail, the fine. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be a steep one. And, uh, you know, it'll be a uh, hard lesson for you to learn. If you found any value in this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. And if this is your first time on my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with my next video. Thank you for watching. This is Trey Diggity, and you're watching The Trey Diggity Show.